welcome back for more Multisuma. Next up will be Quetzalcoatl, with one of the most annoyingly hard achievements to get in the entire game that I'm not going to go for here because I, I don't want to annoy myself trying to get it. But I'll at least tell you guys how I did it. Passed down to you by Cuauhtémoc, Jaguar warrior of Tenochtitlan. Another Roman. The lake around the great city of Tenochtitlan rose and boiled. It foamed until it washed against the houses of the city, sweeping many of them into the lake. I accompanied our dignitaries to meet with the new arrivals. We journeyed towards the coast, through the lands of our enemies, the Tlaxcala. When we emerged from the forest, the strangers welcomed us, although they kept their weapons nearby. I told them that we were Aztecs, representatives of the great Montezuma. Their leader said that his people were Spanish, and he named himself Cortes, although he seemed pleased when we referred to him as Quetzalcoatl. Although their armor and animals seem otherworldly, they can If you're wondering how these guys were able to communicate, uh, remember that the Spanish had already Cortes set up a colony in uh, of Santo Domingo. And of bird feathers. But so they were able to, the gold they had already been able to con again, make contact again, through the, uh, the, the Caribs, and the Caribs were in contact world. with the Aztecs, so they were able to have translators. By now, Cortes had advanced all the way to the lands of the Tlaxcala. There was initial warfare made between Tlaxcala and the Spanish. However, when Cortes heard stories about the size of Tenochtitlan and the number of our brave Aztec warriors, he suggested that the Spanish and the Tlaxcala join forces and attack the Aztecs. Yep, the uh, Tlaxcala were allied with the Spanish, and to this day in Mexico there's a state called Tlaxcala because they were largely spared the brutality of the Spanish, at least in comparison to everyone else. Uh, colonialism wasn't great. Uh, defeat the Tlaxcala. Populate, uh, we can reach Imperial Age, but have a pop limit of 100. Tabasco, your ally, is uh, hot and spicy, all right. Do not despair of Tabasco's loss. It is almost impossible to save them. Do not slay the Spanish horses if they can be of use. The gent's rainforest is home to many jaguars. Be cautious. The Aztecs of Montezuma have a small fortress to the south. In the center of the map, there is a large set of cliffs. And to the north is your ally, Tabasco. To the west is the sprawling city of your enemies, the Tlaxcala. The Tlaxcala army is composed of archers, skirms, eagle warriors, and monks. Their production might be slowed by an early attack. To the east are the Spanish. Their motives are unknown, but it is very likely the Spanish are far more powerful than the, than the Tlaxcala. Defeating their cavalry and swordsmen will require siege weapons, and their fortress is protected by cannon. We do not know the intentions of these Spanish arrivals. For now, our enemies are the Tlaxcala. You used to start with more farms. Rip. Okay, so this scenario is fine. Like, it's not it's not like that crazy. But the achievement is so hard. You have to save Tabasco. Now, Tabasco is, like, literally right next to Cortez. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, their score isn't great. So, essentially, what you have to do is I sent a villager forward immediately to build a monastery to convert a conquistador that I was able to micro around while the Tabasco town center shot at some random ass units. And then eventually I was able to hang on. But you also have to be super careful because the Spanish have elite cannon galleons patrolling and at any point they can just like roll in and just snipe the Tabasco town center. It is seriously a pain and will likely take you several tries. Because they, they, they attack fast, like real fast. Like, I think these guys, yeah, they're coming to attack Tabasco now. And this army will defeat Tabasco. The Spanish are attacking our allies in Tabasco. We must come to the raid. Yeah, look, look at this, guys. You have to stop this. Like, this seriously took me like three hours to do. I think T West did it by putting a dock here and blocking the cannon galleons, at least from the north, if I recall correctly. I'll try to remember to put uh, T-West's video on this in the description because it's a really hard achievement. 
I'd say probably the second hardest one after the uh, Alaric one. Ooh. Anyway, rip Tabasco. Three minute, three and a half minutes, and they're defeated. These to no avail. The Spanish beasts and weapons are more powerful than our warriors. Is yeah, that's a hard achievement, guys. Because you start with five villagers and one eagle warrior. Wait. Oh. I'm like, how did Jaguar kill my eagle warrior? Oh. Anyway, we're going to wall up because we are cowards. I mean, uh, defensive, smart, the tactical Spanish players. Are dangerous because of the beasts they ride into battle. If we could capture these animals, then the Spanish would be much less of a threat. But yeah, you really start with very little yeah, economy. This is the pen where we will corral the captured Spanish horses. So we still have to defeat the Toxcala, and then you can either get 20 horses from the Spanish or defeat them. You kind of have to do both, but... And I've done both. It, it, it's just a matter of which is faster. Oops. Be a bit more efficient. But nay, yeah, but like, I, I just, I mean, I'm getting tilted remembering how annoyingly hard it was to get that achievement. Although, just saying, guys, not to pat myself on the back too much, but I was one of, if not the first person in the world to 100% get all the achievements in this game. I might not be, I, I mean, as far as I know, I'm the first. Like, if someone did it before me, they, they didn't, like, make any note of it on the internets or anything. And uh, I definitely cashed in on some Reddit karma for that. No shame. That was way back in, I want to say, mid-December. I got all the achievements. Anyway, we're fully walled at that point. But you can see Cortez has a pretty high score. Pascal is not too big of a problem, but Cortez can be kind of tricky. In reality, the Spanish weren't actually a strong military presence. Uh, it was more the fact that... I mean, yes, the, the, the gunpowder and stuff was good. But it's not anywhere near as good as... One, the Pascal were able to be the the meat of the Spanish army? Are you kidding me? Oh, that wasn't accurate. Oops, I messed that up. I messed that up again. Oh well, that was fun while it lasted. Anyway, we are under attack. Um, what we're gonna do is go ahead and grab a monastery. And we have plenty of people gathering stone right now, so... 
castle won't be in too far of the future. Need to be careful not to overboom, though. And, but I, <laughs> that's not something most people need to be careful about, but it's something I need to be careful about. Oh, you have very little gold in your starting base. Uh, there's more. There's some more gold over here, but we'll get to that in due course. We have uh, more pressing issues. Yeah, they get to him pretty fast. At least I got one. Well, I should probably, one, not get housed, and two, kill the many jaguars that are between hither and yon. Also, guys, it's not jaguar. It's not jaguar. It's jaguar. That's how you pronounce it. Also, uh, we just got petarded. That's not something I saw coming. I don't remember that being a thing. Oh, you have the castle on the way. The ram's gonna be a bit of an issue. Thank you, Heater. You always come in at the best times. Oh, I thought there were more jaguars on the way. Maybe the enemy uh, aggroed them all already. This is a little bit of a pickle when it comes to defending. But I think we're fine. scary, but we got it. Anyway, we'll click up to Imp soon. Oh, come on. And more gold miners, and first up will be Tlaxcala, because, you know, they're the weaker opponent. Okay. And we'll just primarily be relying on uh, elite eagle warriors. Also, Tlaxcala has lots of gold nearby, like so. Well, that was a, a bit, that was an unfortunate time to look away to take a sip of water. But 
Yay, you got a conversion. Oh, I never built or I never researched Eagle Warrior. Well, the archers aren't going to be doing much to us. Whoa, wood price has already bottomed out. I don't think that was me. At least I don't remember. Well, this isn't exactly the cleanest of uh, approaches, but we're getting it done. Also get some uh, barracks here. Tlaxcala won't be that hard to take out. Especially now that we have the forward castle to protect our gold. I feel like they definitely buffed up Tlaxcala a little bit. I don't remember them advancing to Imperial Age so quickly. I mean, we're still fine, but I just don't remember that being a thing. Anyway, we're gonna need lots of gold. And unfortunately, we don't have any relics in this one. Whoa, how'd you get in, Cavalier? Don't think there's a way in. Then we can build another forward castle over here in the poor remains of Tabasco. It just didn't stand a chance. We'll get Garland Wars once we can afford it, but we need the Eagles. Trebuchet on the way. Foxcala does have a castle. But they don't make Jaguar Warriors. Forward. Crossbowman. Cute. Turns out upgrades are good. I never built a university. Oh. 
out of stone. Aztec Eagle Warriors aren't. I would say they're not the best. I think I think mine Eagle Warriors are better still. But once you get Garland Wars in, they do hit pretty hard. They're just still pretty fragile. And that's kind of the problem with Aztecs, is just how fragile they are. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Get Siege Engineers. Let's get another Treb. There's Garland Wars. Now we'll be tearing through buildings. Especially since Aztecs don't get masonry. One of the two civs in the game that don't get masonry. Well, technically, Ornal Byzantines also don't get masonry or architecture. Yeah, 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 I know, but they get the HP for free. I know you guys. I don't remember this castle being on a hill. I feel like they did that just to uh, slightly annoy you. Oops, that was not what I meant to do. Rip. Can we can we work, please? Okay, these guys should be resigning soon. up over here. Oh wait, let's take out this TC. The Might have to switch into some siege rams as well. Are you kidding me? Seriously. It's just sitting right there in that exact corner. Ugh. Don't want units to get blocked. So they do have some two-handed swordsmen, which are going to be good against the eagles. But I believe in our eagles. Get this. They don't have docks or anything, so they can't remake the uh, galleons. The Spanish only have one castle, but they have several uh, towers and bombard towers. And these guys are annoying as hell. These guys, ooh, ooh, juicy. Horses. Whoa, these guys are fast. I forgot they changed that. 
No, don't kill the horses! What did they ever do to you? Anyway, the Spanish bridge just kind of sprawls out across over here. Don't have full upgrades, thankfully. Oh, come on. Are you serious? That's really something. Something stupid. Use monks. And I'm pretty sure the Spanish don't resign unless you literally defeat them. Horsey horsies. Hopefully, these guys will be enough. I'm going to need to kill this one dude as well. I think he's trapped. Damn it. And they're repairing too, of course. Oh, they don't have heresy. Sick. I thought they'd have heresy. They do have supremacy. Suck my supremacy, Vils, bitch!
More horsies. Guess we've got one monk at home to convert that one. <laughs> One's in Cavalier. Okay, yeah, they have one more Bombard Tower. No! Okay, I think I've at least gotten most of the cannon galleons. As the majority of this scenario has been spent hunting down random units. Okay, last last horsey corral is over here. We have captured ten Spanish horses. We are halfway to our goal. Take it. Oh. See so yeah, how you can just kind of. You just end up getting towards both objectives around the same time anyway. I'm sure the speedrun version of this involves you doing a smash and grab of some kind. Damn it. Come back! Seriously, what the hell is keeping these guys in this game? Are these two cannon galleons still over here? Yes, they are. Join the party! I guess they have another Bombard Tower right there. Wait, no! Can I get spies? Yeah. What the hell is keeping them in this game? They have a couple Conquistadors over there. You can send the monks over, convert them. They have a two-handed swordsman running around. Also, how many horses do I need? I couldn't have lost all of them. But no, go this way. Okay, there's another conquistador right there. There's another cannon galleon right there. What the? Are you kidding? These horses all got stuck. Well, this is uh this has been a wild ride of uh, annoyance. Okay, everyone over here has been killed. There's still the one two-handed swordsman somewhere. Kill him. There's still the Conquistador there. Convert him. Destroy the monastery. This is so annoying. Wait, what are all you guys doing? Do something more useful. Okay, you are dead. Can't believe I lost so many horses. 17 out of 20. Oh wait, there's another horse! That's all still only 18. Oh wait, there's another eagle. There, I mean, there's just a eagle warrior. Punch! Wrecked.
Didn't they have some monks on the way? Uh. Got it. Okay. Does that mean the only thing that's left is this monastery? Oh my god. That was painful. That was a little bit painful. Fantastic warriors fought well that day. My men were frightened by the beasts that the Spanish rode into combat, and by the noise of their exploding weapons. Although we had survived the attack, I thought it best to withdraw towards Tenochtitlan and share with Emperor Montezuma all that we had learned. I don't know if my uncle Montezuma was being cowardly or merely trying to preserve us from the wrath of the gods. But he sent more gifts to Cortez along with an invitation to visit our great city as his personal guest. I was there when Montezuma met Cortez on one of the causeways leading into our great city. The Spanish had evidently never seen anything like Tenochtitlan, and they stared in wonder at the brightly colored markets and pyramids rising out of a man made island in the middle of a gigantic lake, Texcoco. Some of the Spanish soldiers asked whether it was all a dream, the first glimpse of things never heard, seen, or dreamed before. Montezuma led Cortez to the top of the Great Pyramid, where he pointed out the various canals and neighborhoods of the city. But Cortez was mostly interested in gold ornaments and helped himself to any which he encountered. I was no longer convinced that this man was Quetzalcoatl. So says Cuauhtémoc. Jaguar warrior of Tenochtitlan. Alrighty. God, that was so painful at the end. Anyway, that was Quetzalcoatl. Next up will be La Noche Triste. So stay tuned for that, and see you guys next time.